What's up everyone and welcome to Video Game Book Club. As you all know, we received a Nintendo Direct Mini a while back and it got me thinking about what are some games coming up that I'm excited for. So here we go. I'm sure there are more than this, but we don't have time for every single one. In the Direct Mini, we found out we are getting an updated Switch port of the 10 year old DS hit, The World Ends With You. Only this version is the final remix, which brings with it a new scenario for us to play through. The World Ends With You is one of those games I've wanted to play for a long time, but have never gotten around to it. After playing through Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance and being introduced to Neku and the rest of the gang from The World Ends With You, I had a rejuvenated interest in playing the game, and now I finally get to. Next up, we have Mario Tennis Aces, which if you have heard anything I've ever said, you know I'm going to be all over this one. I am a massive tennis fan, and have been a fan of Mario Tennis since the Nintendo 64. Including the story mode elements again is a genius move, and with Camelot behind the wheel on this non-rush job, I have high hopes that this will prove to be a better entry than Ultra Smash. I, for one, was personally happy with Ultra Smash as a tennis game. It played great and looked very polished. However, it was lacking everything that makes Mario Tennis fun, and that is what Aces seems to bring back. This will absolutely be a day one purchase for me. Continuing on with games from the Direct Mini, we have Kirby Star Allies. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse from the Wii U was definitely not a game that I enjoyed. Triple Star Deluxe and Planet Robobot from the 3DS were extremely enjoyable. I know Kirby isn't the most difficult series and is often called baby gaming, but I love the crap out of this little pink puffball. Sometimes I want to play a game where I don't feel like throwing my controller, and Kirby is that game. Combining powers is a neat concept, and local couch co-op multiplayer is a big seller for me. Let's talk about another Wii U port coming to the Switch. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze was absolutely fantastic on the Wii U. Since the system didn't do well, the game is often overlooked, which is why I'm 100% alright with it coming out again on the Switch, which is doing gangbusters. And Tropical Freeze is tough but fair, it looks great and has some excellent music. The Switch version is also getting Funky Kong, which is essentially easy mode, but it seems like it brings some new mechanics with it as well. This game is definitely one you should check out if you don't already own it on the Wii U and feel weird buying Wii U ports for the Switch. I want to break for a second to talk about Wii U ports coming to the Switch. I know it's a sore topic for a lot of fans out there and gives fuel for the Nintendo doubters, but I'm personally fine with it. These ports are often amazing games that went unnoticed on a failing system. Nintendo is bringing them back for people who missed out on them who now own a Switch. I owned a Wii U and most of these games as well, so I tend to overlook them and move on. If you're not interested, don't buy them. There are plenty of other games on the Switch to play in the meantime, like all of the indies. Now, back to the games. One game I'm oddly looking forward to is Runner 3. The trailer makes it seem like something I would enjoy as a platforming lover. However, the more I think about it, the more I think it has to do with the fact that Nicholas is publishing it. They have been doing an amazing job on their Switch releases, including little manuals, stickers, and other goodies in their first print runs. Commander Video, who you control in this series, made an appearance in Super Meat Boy, which could also explain why I'm so excited. Plus. To me, it looks really well polished. Definitely gonna give it a shot. Speaking of Nicholas releases, how about Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap? Another game I've been wanting to play since its release, and now I'll finally get to. Another platformer and adventure game. The Dragon's Trap has received fairly high praise from a lot of different sources. The updated HD graphics look great, but the ability to swap to 8-bit styling is very much welcomed. Harkening back to the days of Wonder Boy on the Sega Master System, I cannot wait to get my hands on this one. Owl Boy has been on my radar ever since the original release in 2016. However, I have never had a way to play it. Eventually, that is all going to change and I'll finally be able to play this highly rated adventure platformer on my Switch. If you can't tell, I'm kind of a sucker for platformers. It kind of seems like pixel platformers. 
that's okay. That's fine. Well, you know, what other types of games are there? Well, like I said, I'm a sucker for platformers. And Shantae is one heck of a platformer from way forward. If you've never played any of these games, you are seriously missing out. Technically, you could call this another Wii U port since it was released on that system along with all the other systems. However, now I can take Shantae everywhere with my Switch and that's worth another purchase. Shantae and the Half Genie Hero is so good and it's beautiful. HD graphics make it that much better. Definitely going to rebuy this one. Oh, oh, would you look at that? It's another plot. Former. Neat. Remember E3 when Nintendo announced upcoming games? Well, I am still looking forward to this new Yoshi game that we really don't know a lot about other than the way it looks. And it looks gorgeous, just like Woolly World was. And the music sounds so peaceful and relaxing. Who knows when it's coming out? but I want it. I love me some Yoshi. Oh, hold on, wait a minute, what is this? It's an RPG adventure game. The longest five minutes seems like a pretty interesting concept from Nis America. The hero, in the midst of battle, loses his memory, his name, his special moves, everything. The art style has me wanting to find out more as there's not a ton of information on it right now. Apparently, you start out fighting the final boss, but that's when you forget everything. So then I don't know where it goes from there, but it seems like an RPG I can get into. It looks nice. And then, of course, there's also Metroid Prime 4 and Bayonetta 3, but all I have to show right now are these logos. So here they are, and I'm excited for them. Well, there it is. A short but still long list of Switch games I'm looking forward to playing, not including everything else that's on the eShop and also on my wish list. So what are some of your most anticipated Switch games? Or games on any platform? Because I'm also looking forward to Kingdom Hearts 3, so whatever you're waiting on, let me know in the comments. And until next time, take care everyone. <laughs>